people, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, and good morning from Thailand. You know who it is, Arsenio Buck, reporting live. Now, I want to do something new today because I've been reading such a ama- I'm telling you, I'm ten pages, only ten pages into this book, and it's been an incredible ride. Public Speaking for Success by Dale Carnegie. I'm going to be doing a presentation workshop at my uh, at my language center uh, next Sunday, followed by probably two huge, tremendously huge workshops out there in uh, Bangkok at one of the biggest companies in Thailand uh, coming up in July, and I also have a real big uh, workshop coming up in about two weeks. So, what I wanted to go over was speech building. Now, like I said before, whatever area you want to achieve success in, you are going to have to become a student in that area. Okay, so when Les Brown was doing this, he ran a strip club, he did this, he did everything. He said he was the jack of all trades, but he was a master of none. Okay, and then he said, you know what, I picked one area, one specific area that I wanted to become great in. So he picked public speaking. So he started doing research on everyone. We're talking Booker T. Washington. Uh, all these people, they, they could be either expressionist or they could be people with a, a certain tone. And he pretty much took a little bit out of everyone and implemented it into his own. This is exactly what I was talking about as far as my personality and, um, uh, taking what my friend gave me and what I learned from my friend and created my own personality out of what he gave me and, you know, from me hanging out with him so much just about 15 years ago. So, with that being said, speech building. I want to go over some of these speech building techniques that he has within his book, and I'm going to be doing this in my workshop too. And of course, this is very, very different from the Jack Canfield, the success principles, which I'm going to be getting back into very, very shortly. But uh, we're going to talk about words that are often mispronounced. Now, of course, I work at a language center where some of these 70-year-old, 80-year-old, 90-year-old, 100-year-old, 110-year-old, 150-year-olds, they have a tendency of trying to correct whatever I say. So what we're going to be talking about today is the double O, the O, and the U. Now, a lot of people say, a lot of people have a, a problem pronouncing something that they're not sure if they're supposed to say the oo or the uh in you, right? That's what we're going to be going over today. Like, kind of like the O in comedy, right? And the capitalized U's that uh, he has a list of, a list of words at the bottom of this particular page, like supple, suburban, right? Uh, luscious are all sounded as you, as in up. You, the you and up. Okay, so supple, suburban, and uh, what is that? Luscious. So the letters capitalized that he put within this list and the following should be sounded not as not as the o o in ooze, right? So o o z e that is pronounced ooze right it's not going to be pronounced o's it's not going to be pronounced as ooze but as the u in futility and music okay so not the oo but the u it's kind of like unicorn right this the long u sound consists of a close union of the sound of i in it okay and the O-O in ooze. So the precise sounding of the long U is rare and is an infallible sign of culture pronunciation. Okay? Now, this probably just went right over your head, but don't worry. Foo. F-O-O for few. Food for feud. So food, F-O-O-D for feud. F. E U D. How about future? The double O. Future. F O O T U R E for future. Right? Boogle for bugle. Or Cupid for Cupid. But how many of us say n- what how many of us say new for new? Right? Do you say, oh, I have a brand new car? Right? Or duty for duty. Or Tuesday for Tuesday. You see what I mean? Tuesday. T-O-O-S-D-A-Y. Tuesday. How many people say Tuesday out there? 
Australia, England, everyone, please stand up. How many of you say Tuesday? Oh, I'm going to my salsa class on Tuesday. Now, I'll tell you one thing. I probably have heard a couple of people from down south in Louisiana have said that before. But it's normally pronounced Tuesday, right? Now, I know some of my students would say Tuesday. But I say Tuesday. So, a list of words to co help correct this pronunciation. If you guys are having problems doing this pub uh, public speaking... Uh, which I'm going to be going over a lot of since I bought this book. I'm going to launch another series, okay? Um, you guys could do these, uh, these exercises every time in the morning to help you, okay? Because I like a lot of different people. I've read a lot of different people such as Abraham Lincoln, some army generals. They are, were terrified of public speaking. They, uh, one of... Uh, Abraham Lincoln's close friend said he was so awkward, remarkably awkward. And then when he started speaking with all the, what is it, his, he said his skin started turning and he dug his fingers into the palm of his hands and, oh man, but over time, he was able to come over and get over that hump. So, absolute, right? So we're doing the oot, right? Absolute, assume, attitude, avenue, Right? Constitution, consume, culinary, delude, delusion, do, dilute, dubious, do, duet, duke, duly, duty, furniture, gratitude, illusion, institute, institution, lubricate, lucy, lure, measure, multitude, neutral, new. Now you see, a couple of those, they were probably pronounced two different ways, right? So if we look at illusion, illu, ooh, ooh, and new, well, that almost sounds identical. But the way I pronounced it, there was just a slight, just a little bit of a differentiation in between the two. Okay, so this is what I like doing. If anyone wants a list of this so they could practice this, if they're speakers or if they're like a CEO or anyone that comes up in front of a crowd or is getting ready to and you are just terrified of public speaking well jack canfield obviously he goes over this in his book and i just went over this in one of the principles uh that a lot of people will say oh man what if i for what if i forget what if i forget what if i forget you're thinking of an imaginary situation and then you're going to end up falling apart on your presentation right because you create the image so if you want to, um, kind of like me, sometimes I stumble over my own words. So what I would do every day was I would do just this. I would uh, do speaking pronunciations. I would do exercises in the morning to help me and to, you know, so I could keep practicing and practicing. There was somebody, oh, I forgot his name, but there was somebody, it was a radio host. Where is he at? It was a radio host. That, uh, was it Benjamin Israeli? No, that was the Prime Minister. Uh, oh, there was a specific guy. It was a, f it was Zach. Ah, there we go. Charles Chapman. There we go. Okay, so this radio host, before he got on the radio, just as I did, if you listen to my first recording, you can hear somewhat of the nervousness in my voice. Because I'm like, oh my God, well, I don't know who's going to listen to it. But now, I've overcame a lot of everything I was from the beginning as you know as far as practicing and not just forgetting what I was going to say next now there's sometimes that I would stop and I would start overthinking and then I would say uh oh okay I got lost and I would just literally just say it right out loud I'd be like all right guys I just got lost but that doesn't often happen because once I start creating that image within my mind saying oh my god I'm going to forget what I'm going to say to all these people who are listening live well then that's when I fall apart so I'm going to start going over some of these uh, different techniques in uh, Dale Carnegie's book, The Public Speaking for Success, which I'm reading. Uh, and I'm also going to get back onto the Jack Canfield series. And of course, I got other things to talk about also, you know, just random topics. So you guys stay tuned. Until then, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and evening. If you have any questions at AJ in Thailand, I'm your host, over and out.